first activity of giant mega comet beyond Saturn has been spotted. The comet Bernardinelli Bernstein, some call it a huge mega comet, others call it a small planet. And this is the picture of it, June 22nd, 2021. Comet C214 UN 271 Bernardinelli Bernstein from Las Cubras Observatory. New Zealand based astronomers had a time zone advantage while watching this huge, massive comet. As we said, others call it a tiny, a smaller planet. Spotting the first signs of activity on the record setting comet of gargantuan size came down to time zone advantage. So, New Zealand were the first to spot the coma or which is a zone of gas and dust spreading around the mega comet known as uh, Bernardinelli Bernstein, which may be a thousand times more massive than most comets are. It could be the most massive comet ever found in all of our recorded history. The team monitoring these images captured by Las Cubras Observatory LCO spread around the world, world images from one of LCO's one meter telescope hosted at South African Astronomical Observatory, available June 23rd at midnight, and that happened to be afternoon in New Zealand. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. She believed that uh, the image was a bust, thanks to the ever-present problems of satellites going through the field of view of telescopes. She said the first image that had the comet obscured by a satellite streak, my heart sank. And then she said, but then the others were clear enough, and gosh, there it was, beautifully defined a little fuzzy dot, not at all crisp like its neighboring stars. Now what caught Bannister's attention was a foamy coma emerging at an incredible distance from the sun. When the image was taken, Bernardinelli Bernstein comet was about 19 astronomical units from our sun. As we know, one astronomical unit is the average Earth-Sun distance, which is about 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers. Is roughly double the orbital distance of Saturn from the Sun. The solar energy at that juncture is a fraction of what we enjoy here on our Earth. So the comet has a lot of mass available to heat up. Bernardinelli Bernstein huge core, or its nucleus that is, estimated to be more than 62 miles in diameter, which is three times as large as the next known largest comet of Comet hale bopp the famous naked eye comet that passed Earth in 1998. Unfortunately for eager astronomers though, this giant comet, Bernardinelli Bernstein, won't get very close to us for observations. Bernardinelli comet, Bernstein's co closest approach to the Sun, will still be beyond Saturn by January 2031. Astronomers have a decade to plan for that approach and if history is any guide, Telescopes around the world in space, along with spacecraft that happen to be nearby that area, will peer at the comet to learn as much as possible about its composition and its history. LCO's Look Project already observed several comets, and it will continue to watch Bernardinelli Bernstein as well. And um, it's expected to be of help since uh, the network of telescope allows for Rapid response, 15 minutes, any outbursts occur. The statement said LCO scopes won't be the only ones watching, of course. There are now large numbers of surveys that are monitoring parts of the sky every night. And these surveys can provide alerts. If one of the comets changes brightness suddenly, then we can trigger the robotic telescopes of LCO to get us more detailed information and a longer look at the changing comet while the survey moves to other areas of the sky. This is from space.com. And, uh, okay, that's it. New Zealand was the first to see it. And a little bit of its coma as well. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.